AM Cafe Morning Show. Today, my special guest, R&B group, Ideal. Can I be in a group of you looking? Together. <laughs> AM Cafe Morning Show, in your mouth, get gone. Getting your morning started the right way with the AM Caffeine Morning Show. So, today, man, what's really cool about, what I enjoy about the AM Caffeine Morning Show is that we're able to interview folks that we're fans of, folks that we play music and not like, we're not forced to have certain people on your show, like Fetty Wap's not, I'm not doing Fetty Wap. <laughs> 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 Y'all know how I feel about Fetty Wap But tell him I see him He um, sees half of you Yeah, yeah he does <laughs> So today man There's a, a, was a, a time in, in R&B music That you know, I was a, a huge fan of So when you had groups like 112 And you had groups like Jagged Edge When it, R and B was was really was really fly. It was really fun. Now it's such a now you don't find these groups anymore. Like you can't even find an R and B group right now. And prior to like the generation of the groups that I just spoke about, then you know you had Guy and you had New Edition, Troop, Edition. Troop, and 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 before that, like Ron T's era, like you know Ron T was listening to like the, <laughs> the Four Tops, the and, Four Tops, <laughs> and the Temptations. Oh, you crazy! <laughs> but I know you wanna leave. That's where he's from, right? <laughs> But 90s R&B was really flying. We just, I, I, I want to get back to that. Ideal is in the damn building today, dude. Uh, Ideal up? is in What's the up? building today. Hey, what up, Doc? What's, what it do, Doc? And, you know, groups come out and they have, their, have such an impact. They have great songs. And then... You know, may it be through record company issues or just trying to keep the group together. You just like, what happened to, what happened to those guys? So that's what I want to talk about today. With Ideal, Mav is in the building, yeah. Swab's in the building, yeah. PZ, Jay Dante, the yeah. whole crew yeah. is up in here. So we're gonna talk about the history. We're gonna talk about just how difficult it is to kind of try to stay together and you guys have been doing this for us that group since about like 95 or 95, something yeah. 95 we're talking 2016 that's really effing hard to do right um so we're gonna talk about all that they're gonna be rocking with the am caffeine morning show this hour and mav is he's representing with me for the dark skin brothers today <laughs> jay dante you you're giving yeah, me some drake you're giving me I'm a little bit of down for the lights i got a little team light skin a little pigment on. right <laughs> <laughs> it's called pigment wars <laughs> so the guys are in the building ron steel let's get into this mix we're gonna come back ideal is in the building we're gonna talk about just r&b music we're gonna talk about their journey what they're doing now everything is the am cafe morning show in the building ron c don't hold on to it dog let it go let it go Fellas, so you guys um just did a show and um, one twelve was on that was on that bill, right? Absolutely. Who was all on that show that you guys just did in uh, LA? It was Bobby Brown, Guy, uh, one twelve, Genuine, Tony, Tony, Tony. Next, High we were so surprised. Guess from next, uh, High Five and Michelle. Wow, wow. Um, so. How was how was how long has it been since you guys really performed like you once were like when you guys were on the charts? Like how long has it been? It's been a while. It's been a minute. Uh, <laughs> What, 12? Maybe, yeah, about 12 years, maybe. 11, 12 wow. years. Wow. 12 yeah. years. So how is it getting back out there and, and, and being amongst the, like a lot of these artists that you guys came out with at around the same time? Mm -hmm. It felt great. Yeah. I mean... Uh, it was amazing. It felt I like mean, we never left. Right. right. Plus, plus we're family, so it's just like... When we get back together, it's like when we, we were doing it when we was little kids. Right, right. I mean, so it was just like natural to us. Right. So... It felt great, and the crowd was, I mean, it was a great crowd, because we were like one of the first acts, and there was a lot of people in the building already, so we was like, wow. Right. So the energy was great. Uh, next brought us out, and we just did our thing. 
And it was an honor to be up there with, you know, oh, yeah. the ones that paved the way for right, us. Right, right. For sure. So, um, it was exciting. So, ideal, man. Houston, Texas, where y'all are from. Yes, sir. Right. Right. Morning, Ray. H time, baby. How does ideal come together? We came together in high school. Well, well, my, well, my myself, my name is Maverick and Swab. Over yeah, there. They, yeah. I mean, I introduced well, Swab the earlier, but well, Swab over there. So. Swab is my my brother. Okay, sorry about and that. PZ right here is my first cousin. <laughs> so uh -huh. we've been singing together. Since Y'all been singing since the crib, right? Like, right. In church. Since, we, yeah. since we were forced to get on the mic, we didn't know our name was on yeah. the program. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, uh, <laughs> can y'all sing an A and B selection for right? Like, for real. <laughs> in a band. And, uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> we were singing together all our lives, and we met Jay Dante in high school. Well, actually, Jay was kind of pushing me to start a group, and I was like, uh, I don't want to start no group. You know, da, 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 da. And finally, our senior year in high school, Jay was finally convinced me to get in a group. So mm -hmm. it was our, like, we had like a big senior breakfast where all the seniors get together and have like one big breakfast together before we all graduated. Right. And, um, we all just just sang together like we sang boys and men uh it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday uh -huh. and uh we had tears in there girls going crazy like oh, oh they were crying and passing out and stuff we was like we, we, we might have a little something we have something here <laughs> right hey. forget so. college <laughs> <laughs> right so i mean we started there we started doing like you know talent shows around the city and getting on radio stations when we could at that just, point so when that started was the name of the group ideal no, or, what, what was I, it? We, we didn't actually have a name at that point. We were just the boys singing. We were just singing. We were just <laughs> old brothers singing yeah, together. No you know, right. I don't, I don't even remember what we started off as saying who we were. We just were singing. Just singing. And then um, we got an opportunity to sing for Winnie Mandela when she came to, wow. to Houston. Wow, huge. So, I mean, at that, that time, we had to come up with a name. So right. Because we were going to be on a program. Uh -huh. Like, this, oh, the boys. Right. Like, <laughs> uh -huh. So, we basically sat in the room and like, okay, we need to figure out a name. Yeah, so, we tried right, to combine the names. We names. tried to combine names like Jodeci did. <laughs> right. and that, all this none of that stuff. didn't work, huh? Didn't so, Medante or something yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, <laughs> we just said, <laughs> We said let's let's just pick up a dictionary and just we're just gonna open it up and whatever page it falls on. That's why we're gonna, we gonna find our name on this page. Wow. Wow. So we opened it up and it just so happened to find the fall in the I section. We went down a couple of entries and then it fell to ideal. And the definition was a conception embodying perfection. And we was like, mm, that's that sounds, deep. That's yeah, it is deep. Real deep. <laughs> Like yeah. you know, we strive. We're not perfect, but we're trying to strive, strive every for that. day to be you know better than we were the next day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we was like, we kind of took that and ran with it. And then we, and, you know, as we went along, we added our own definition, which is the con uh, you know uh, the recipe to fulfill every woman's fantasy. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So basically, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the conception was the number one definition, and the second one was like the recipe to fulfill every woman's fan every woman's fantasy, which means you know we all different flavors in the group you know he, right yeah. you know he has his personality he had his personality i have my personality light skin dark you know, skin you know <laughs> right you know so you know so one woman up. one woman might gravitate to jane on right might gravitate to me you know just different personalities in the group so we just you know just combine that and try to figure it out you know were you guys close to where H-Town was like actually you, so that's, you guys, that's, a, that's a funny that's funny how, thing right. you meant you say that. that's how we got put on really from H-Town H so, because we had we were singing around town and talent shows and stuff like that and we got introduced to a guy named Patrick Johnson okay which was the group uh, group's manager at the time so at that time H-Town was popping H-Town was, was popping they were knocking, they was the, knocking the booth yes. was, was in full knocking effect yeah. right so we got introduced to Pat Johnson he was trying to find other acts and um he had us come to the office and, and and sing for him, and then he loved us immediately. He signed us, and we used to basically just travel with H Town, just like as their roadie, just watching right. them perform and yeah. seeing all, seeing all the girls' reaction to them. Go bananas! Yeah. Right. So we just got introduced that way, and we just like, wow, we need this. And big shout out to G. I. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, oh yeah. rest in boys. peace, Dino. R. P. Dino, we love y'all. Sure. Yeah. Um. So. You're rolling with them. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 
and you're, you're you're seeing the reaction of of oh. what's going on. Mm -hmm. How long? So what what was the? So were you at that point? This, were you guys recording recording yeah, demos? This was, uh, this was around ninety. Or 95 somewhere along 95. that line mm -hmm. and uh, we just started we got in the studio with Bishop Burrell a stick Sick, at the producer yeah. at that time okay the producer of H-Town and we just start banging out records so um basically to get the you know to get the buzz popping to get the attention of record labels and stuff like that and then uh, eventually we got a um no I don't know about six seven songs done and we probably we sang for um the president of Virgin Records over the phone Eric Brooks. Eric Brooks. Oh, yeah. shout out E. Brooks. E. Brooks. E. Brooks. He had new. He had new. New tribe. Tribe. New tribe. Yeah, new tribe. That's tribe. the homie. Shout out E. Brooks. Yeah. yeah. And he was. Like, he's. He loved what he heard over the phone. So he, I'll be in Houston, uh, maybe two or three weeks later. He came to Houston, heard us live, and he was like. So Eric I mean, Brooks signed Eric you guys. Eric Brooks signed us. I know that. New tribe Yes, sir. I know that. Shout out to Chris Peterson too, man. You guys remember Chris Peterson? White girl used to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris, yeah. Chris was cool. Yeah. So, what year was so? What year was that? The official? Yeah, like 95, 96. 95, 96. Because 96. our first thing coming out was uh, we we got to uh, get featured on a soundtrack. Uh, yeah. What soundtrack was that? It was uh, it was uh, original oh, gangsters. Oh yeah, that movie yeah, that movie with, uh, sucked too. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> oh, to death. We just wanted to get some out. I'm not mad at you. Hilarious, <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. So hilarious. we got put on. Eight. So that was your first, first release introduction to, okay. just to the, to the, to the right, masses. Yeah. And you know, we just got a little show from here, here and there, doing that, promoting that. And we know we, we met 112 and told along that long don't like uh, when Montel Jordan was out. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and, um, we just kind of Horace Brown. That whole sound like around '95 when know, that stuff was popping. Jones. Right. Yeah. So. So then, how long did it take for that actual album? Actually, and then. It, it was like dull for a few years. Yeah. Like, so, so what were you doing in that in the meantime? Between time? We just still recording, just like, uh, like anxious, like when are we gonna, we gonna get come our, out? When yeah. are we gonna get our shot? Kind of on the shelf, you right? Know, just Basically. sitting and waiting. What yeah. What do you think that was? Was there a specific reason? Was it a record company thing? A management thing? Like, what was the deal? Yeah. It was, it was probably a combination of both managers. Manage. Well, you know, at the time, Virgin Records had a lot of major acts. They had like Janet Jackson, uh, D'Angelo. And I just think we were lower on the totem pole and not really a priority right. at that time. So, you know, we were like, okay, cool. We'll just keep cutting these records. We'll stay on the road, do these shows, turn it out. Where well, they're going to have to put us out. Right. And, you know, we just put ourselves in a position where we became a priority. Right. Just and basically, uh, basically all happened like around 97. They were like, we need you guys in L.A. So... Like 97, 98, they all moved. They moved us all to LA. To LA. To, to basically finish the album. Right. So. so, the first official release from the first album was. Was Get Gone. Was Get 99. Gone. 99. Yes. 99. So, from 98, we was like doing songs. We were just cutting, cutting, cutting. You know, different producers, different writers. And then, you know, just getting our name out in just the city. And just right. going to different industry party, vibe parties, and stuff like that. Yeah, just, doing a lot of network. Right. And when then, you guys do get gone, do you know like this 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 joint is gonna go? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, at it's the a funny at the time, yeah, you know, you had records like Bills, 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 uh -huh. and those Scrubs, like from a, a, a female's, female's perspective. Right. Yeah, right. Right. And we just kind of wanted to to put our little two cents in, like, well, you know, we get dog too, and you right. know what I'm saying it's just not, you know. There's some trifling <laughs> females out there. A gang of them. <laughs> so. Not the best, y'all. I mean, but you know. Please so we, don't bash we wanted to, We wanted to do it from a, from a, a male perspective. perspective. Right. And basically the song, it can, it can go, it's universal. Yeah, it's, it's universal. It's universal. So universal a girl can, you know, I don't need this guy in my life. Da, right. Da, da. right. So it was like, we thought it was just a great song to just come out with. Like, wow, that's different uh -huh. from any other group that's and, coming and, out. Right. And it kind of like stood out. A lot. It stood out right. more than most of the other records on our album and so you know after listening to it we were like wow this one this is kind of special right mm -hmm. yeah. who produced that uh, that was produced by brian michael cox b cox, b -Cox. B -Cox. so it was like one of his Wait. first hit records really wow yeah. and then 
and he started blowing up after that. I mean, Man. you already know how talented Grammy Award yeah, winning yeah, producer, sure, coolest sure. guy ever. Yeah, sure. So, AM Cafe Morning Show, Ron C. Let's get in the get gone. Shout out to B. Cox. I ain't mm-hmm. did yes, that. Sir. Damn. Yes, so, let's get into that. for the dark skin, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Represent for us, B. Cox. And you got some Grammys, dude. I'm a, yes, we need that. AM Cafe Morning Show, Ideal is here. Yes, AM Cafe Morning Show. Better get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. Get on. You ain't taking my bins. Just get on, just get on, just get on, just get on. Leave them credit cards with me. Just get on, bye bye. Don't let the door hit you where the sun don't shine. Hey, drop the mother effing mic, dog. Right? <laughs> God. Yes. Damn. Come through with the vocals. As yet, can't do that. <laughs> it's not a game. Whoa, wait. Hey, okay. hey. did y'all hear that, too? Right? It's can't time. be more. I'm about to cry. <laughs> I was about to leave my man. Like, woo, woo. get gone. Get gone. Eat your stuff. Right, get gone. And Cafe Morning Show, ideal in the building, man. I tell you. <laughs> Groups like, card. I mean, we'll artists like that card. can't even right. do that now, do it on some real. Card. Right. You take all the credit cards. Damn, you guys still sound great. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, that song blows up. Right, right. Yeah. Next single. So that album goes gold, right? Right, right. And the single and the album. The single, single, the single and the album. album. Yeah. Go, go. My number one song in the country. With number one at radio, at urban radio. Yes, sir. I mean, cats right now can't even go copper. You know how hard it is to go, go gold right now? Yeah. yeah. So the next single. So then when when does whatever come out? And that was the third, third single. So that was the third. So what was the second, the second single? Second single was creeping. Creepin'. Okay, for the ladies. Oh yeah. Whatever and, uh, comes out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I know when whatever came out. Mm-hmm. Obviously, whatever was bigger than Get Gone, correct? Would, would you say? Oh, uh, uh, it was about the same. Kinda, about really? the same. I mean, I, it's, 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 it depends on who you talk to, right? Right. right. I mean, they kind of they kind of did the same thing. Right, you know what I'm saying? It's like I don't like, think we really, I don't think we really released it. It was on the album, we put it out. It was like, on a re-release. Yeah, it was on a re-release of the album because it was on, it wasn't on the original, it was on the original album. Original. Oh, okay, okay. And then we the we, we decided to put another song on the album. So and that was it. That, that was, was it. it. I'm mean, basically what happened. Uh, we ran into KG, I think down. Shout out to KG from Naughty by Nature in, in uh, Miami or something. He and him and RL were like, "Yo, we got a record for y'all," and it was like, "All right, cool." And I knew, you know, K, we knew KG's track record with Naughty and what he had been doing uh, with R and B artists, right? Like, like John, John A, and, and, and Jaheem and everybody. And so we were like, "Yeah, K, you know, KG really makes good, fun party records. That's something that we need." So he was like, "I got this one for y'all." And what we gonna su- do? Say nah, we done. Right. <laughs> I'm like, please, please right. brother, bring, give it to us. What's up? Right. And so they played it for us while we were out there, and it was like, yo, how we gonna do this? It was like we can cut whenever you're ready. And so he was like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be in LA next week. Let's do it. We cut the record and ended up going out to Jersey with him. Right. And uh, I ne- that was the first time we met Jaheen. He was in the studio. Kind of like we were with Ace Town, just hanging out, hanging out, trying mm-hmm. to find his place. Big shout out to Jaheen, what's up, brother? You know we got love for you, right? And uh, you know, Little Mo was there, and that's the shout out Mo. We just mm-hmm. th- we came up with the record, the icing and, on the record, and right? It put, it put the icing on the cake, actually. So when that song comes out, so I know that now you guys are a priority at the label at yeah. this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. They were, you know, we we were showing improving on the road, right? And we were getting our, our radio numbers and, and and sales were going up. So, so tell me, with you guys now being a priority at the at the label, having a strong radio presence. 
no second. Like, what happens after the first album? I can tell you, man. <sighs> we what? started cutting a second album. Yeah, we actually started a second. With, with the same, you know, regime that we had at Virgin. You know, keep in mind, Eric Brooks. Eric Brooks. Brooks. Signed us, right? Right. At this time... They had they gotten rid of Eric Brooks oh. and they brought somebody else in, Dan North, the, the labor, right in the middle of us recording our second album. Right. So I don't even know who the guy who came in was uh, for version, but the new guy who came in, he had a choice whether he wanted to keep us, you know, or uh, you know, bring his own artists in uh -huh. or whatever, and. That's usually how it works. When, some, yeah, when new folks come yeah. in, they have their own agenda. Right. They bring in, and then if you're there, right. you get stuck because you don't have a, yeah. nobody has your back anymore. Right. Exactly. And, and it's kind of what happens. And, to, and to keep it all the way, one. That, that's what we do <laughs> here. All the way. Yeah. All the way. Uh, uh, a big artist uh, uh, came from another label and wanted to sign to Virgin Records. Okay. That ain't no wanted to. And they kind of emptied the vault. For that artist. For this artist. Oh, that's some hot tea. Yeah. Was that Janet? No. no. Janet was already there. It was already there. Damn, I'm trying to think. Write right. it down. I'll say it. I'm going to give it a hot damn. I'm Initials MC. Oh, Mariah Carey. Oh, no. There it is. Huh. <laughs> so basically, yes. They basically swept house. Right. Because... She had all this money, and that's when the, the glitter movie came out. Oh, Which, god. oh my god! I think that was I think that was once an original sparkle. character. That wasn't glitter. That was a, a sparkle. Of sparkle. I give that movie two thumbs down. Right. I wish I had two more hands to give it four really thumbs down. <laughs> that so was like the, the down. <laughs> we got caught up in all and all that. Caught up, man. So there was no way. Did you guys try to get a release, or you just just gonna try to work it out? I mean, they just like. They dropped. We appreciate yeah, it. We God bless. So Good stretch. night. Basically, you know, and, mm -hmm. and it was like, wow, it kind of <laughs> devastated us. Right, was like having a successful album. Just, no, it was we like we was on top of the world. Like we was just about to put the second album out. Yes, yeah. yeah. and it was just like, uh, like huh? Okay. Really? Okay. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So what happens? What do you do next then, after that? So you get you guys get dropped. Are you like like you said? There's devastation. Right. Do you have any idea what was there? Other labels know, was still. Other labels that were interested, interested but it was the deals was just not we, yeah, yeah. It was just the yeah, the whack ass deals. deals. Right. So it was just we didn't really. I mean, it kind of discouraged us for a for uh, minute. Yes. It kind of set us back. Like man, like mm -hmm. how does we how do we go from one thing? Yeah. To just being all of a sudden dropped and then yes, like whoa, whoa, what happened? It was no really no explanation for it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we were successful. It's not it's not like we weren't producing for the company, right? You know, right. like we weren't just a lot of gang, and we were we were always on time. We do their shoulders, do your job, we were and we're professionals, yeah. right? And it was what it, it was, what it was. <laughs> so. so, what has gone on from? That time to now, we're 2016, just and life a, just right, like ha getting married, getting yeah, having yeah, kids, having married, married. Yeah. 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 right, okay. writing and producing. Yeah. I mean, we, we always step yeah. kept busy, like writing, still and, doing music and, stuff. And, you know, mm -hmm. I did a lot of vocal production for a lot of different artists, like along the years, and. And we man. never broke up. Yeah, yeah. That, that, it wasn't yeah, even that, about that. That's the man. whole thing. We people, never broke yeah, up. We, I want to clear that up now. People always want to say, "Oh yeah, what why? What happened? Y'all did y'all break up? No, yeah. uh -huh. we haven't we just gone got caught anywhere. Up, yeah, we just got caught up in that situation and just just kind of stalled for a second, like, right? To start living life. So I mean, we never broke up. Like every now and again, we'll get together and do a little show here, a little show there. We performed at my cousin's peasy wedding. Mm -hmm. We did my wedding. Mm -hmm. So it was just like. We did, we did show, we did, you know, we did stuff along the way, but it wasn't like nothing like major, nothing right. like last night, right? Like, so now, you guys are, you want to reclaim where you were Basically, at one point? Are you guys in it a hundred percent? Like, oh, let, let's get definitely. back as ideal because and do new music. Because first of all, we see, we see the the urgency and the the hunger that people have still have for our for that era. music yes and our era yes i mean we want to be a part of that but we also want to you know give us a, you know a little 2016 beyond ideal too i mean we don't want to stray away from our from sound, your core right? right you know but we want to you know give us a, a updated version of ideal so people can have some some new music out there to hear us why do you think it is now that there are no male r 
R&B groups. Like, you, if you really think about it, you can't think of an R&B group that's current. I mean, I don't know, man. The industry is like the they're blending R&B yeah. kind of with hip hop a lot. Right. Um, but the industry has changed so much, and I don't think they want to. You know, they're looking at numbers. Well, it's, well, it's not I mean, really I, 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 I hear you, but I think if you put out good music, you're right. going to get the numbers. Yeah. I believe that too, but I think that. You know, the budgets aren't the same that they used to be. They're not, they're not spending money like they used to. You know what I mean? And you got to come in with, you got to have it. It's the IT mm-hmm. is a big factor. And, you know, I don't know. Personally, I don't know. I don't know. Personally, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's a different generation to me, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, I understand that. That's great. Kids are going to love what they love. And, you know. There's a lot of just here today, gone tomorrow songs today. It's not like really classic songs like last night that you can hear. Here, right, 20 years like down 20 the line. Years down the line. Absolutely. Like people knew our song for like 15 years ago. Right, y'all, you know I forgot saying? Betty Wap's song he put out last week. <laughs> right, so they, and they still knew our song. It's like when we came out there, it was like, oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So it's like we still have that impact on the industry. So we still think we, we're still fresh. We still look good. Right. You know, we can still bring that element back to the game. You know, for this generation, our generation, and the younger generation. And let me tell you, if you haven't seen us live, oh my God, it's such a treat! It's such a treat. I promise you, I promise you, it, it is a treat. Like we take that serious. I feel like as entertainers, we have a responsibility to give you what you came to, to see, see. Right. Right. and maybe even more. <laughs> so when we get up there and perform, we give our all to you. We're not going to just put up a hundred percent. We're going to give you a hundred and fifty percent, two hundred, about a hundred pelvic thrust minimum. Yeah, lady. <laughs> They like they haven't to all the ladies that's listening. These guys haven't. It's not like they fell off and they got fat and they out of shape and they don't look good. They still look like okay. <laughs> they got it going on. I see you getting closer, Randy. I see. Right? You. I see your work. He married though. He got a ring on his finger. Right. I can't. You know, I can't get too close. <laughs> Who, wait. So who's available? Oh, well, then you better go to the end. <laughs> quit playing. You might need to switch seats, huh? Right. <laughs> quit playing. Um, so you guys are in the studio now? We are in the we studio are. right now. Yes, sir. Uh, we are. Any we idea when you're, gonna work, when you're releasing well, something new, or are you just taking your time, making taking sure you time. get it right? We're just making sure, you know, we put it out. Because nowadays, you can put out, like back in the days, you had to wait for the label mm-hmm. to. Nowadays, you can you just do whenever you want to. throw a song on it and say, here it is. Buy, yeah. uh, here it is. Listen, if you don't so, like this one, so do you another one for Do you think that that hurts the artist I, or I helps? Think it, I think that's great. I think that's a great yeah. thing about today's the market is because, like, you you let the people decide. You're like, okay, I got a song. You're not feeling this one. Okay, we got another song. Right. We got another song, and we got another song. Right. We you know somebody gonna gravitate to something. Something. Right. right. You know what I'm saying. And so, then you get way more creative it's about, control. It's about absolutely, and it's about putting product. more product. The more product you have out there, you know. The more you're seen, the more you're heard, and we, this is a win-win situation, really. Right. Plus, we have our old catalog, so we can always come back to that and come see a show and then just incorporate a new, the new stuff in that. Yeah, so. And that's one thing I wanted to say, too, Doc. When we was gone, y'all, we didn't stop recording. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we got years and years worth <laughs> of music. Yeah, yeah right. Just wait till you hear it, though. Like, And ladies, if you get a chance to come to the show, please. <laughs> <laughs> it is such come, a treat. Come, come treat yourself. Yeah, come, come treat yourself. And, <laughs> and, and, and bring your girlfriends. Y'all come in groups because... <laughs> You're you going to be ready. Your man will be happy when you come home. Trust yeah, yeah, me. Right. <laughs> so, AM Cafe Morning Show. So, the second single that uh, I was talking about earlier, which was um, Creeping, right? Yeah. yeah. Ron C., you got that? Let's, let's, let's play that real quick. Uh, an interesting story on that. Let, that let us that know. Was, that was... The sample from this song was uh, This Place Hotel by the Jacks. Yes. How the hell did you so, get that right, clear? That, right. That's what I was trying to say. Like We were very, very blessed that Michael Jackson Michael cleared, Jackson cleared that sample. They don't clear a they, damn thing. He doesn't thing. clear anything. So he cleared it. He liked the song. He, they let him hear wow, the song. That's and he cleared it. Wow, let's that's get into that. You know how I feel about Michael Jackson. R.I.P. Yeah. Michael Jackson. R.I.P. Love him. Mike. Say something about Michael Jackson. I'll slap the hell out of you. Right <laughs> AMK. Happy morning, so let's get into that, man. This is Creepers Ideals with us, man. Let it go, Ron C. Creepin', just jump in the right, girl. I'll be there all time. Creepin', we can spend the weekend. I got what you seekin'. Your people start beeping. 
in Just jump in your ride, girl I'll be there on time Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, you mother yeah. effers better sing Right? Y'all better sing <laughs> yeah. Yeah, AM Caffeine Morning Show Ideal is in the building. Y'all had Brandy was over. I was like, Brandy, you know that? So I was like, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, man. You guys sound fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Like, you really do. Thank you, man. Half of these people, these artists that are out now that have great radio songs that you end up liking because you just hear it so much in repetition. But when you go to see them live. Right. right. <laughs> Man, they suck, Bobby. Like they're terrible. Yeah. Yeah. You guys sound. You sound. <laughs> well, singing was always first with us. Right. You know, we started before the auto tune age. When you right. had to do on Yeah, they're not rappers trying. We to started be right on the two track. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, dads and uh, yeah, we we watched, before Pro Tools. Hey, hey, we watched the whole technology. <laughs> so like, was, we went from the 24 inch. We went from no. We went from cassette, cassette taping from a cassette to another cassette. Right. Sing yeah. your voice <laughs> and dubbing that onto a <laughs> to a two track. Yeah. Third cassette. Hey, dads to to now Pro Tools like we went through that whole <laughs> <laughs> who do you guys listen to now oh, like man. who do you guys like out that's current I love, I love what Chris Brown is doing I can't right. front Chris Brown he's, he's doing, doing his thing, thing. I fool that doing Brown. his thing go yeah. ahead Chris yeah. Yeah. we got major love like, for major love for Tank shout out to Tank, Tank. He, did, he did a song for us back in the day Tank can go to oh, yeah so, you know Tyrese I love what Tyrese is doing right now with this whole movement trying to bring R&B back and he's, he's, he's really doing that so he's really making that attention and just putting that attention back on R&B with but the same shout out to Tyrese the Grammy nominations I hope you get that congratulations right. brother yeah, for sure. DJ Rogers uh, anybody that, anybody that you guys want to work with or you guys kind of self-contained as far as that's concerned with like the new music I that mean, you're doing now everybody when people don't realize our first album we worked with with like pretty much every group that was out, we had a song from 112 that was on the album. We had a song from Jagged Edges that was on the album. We had a song from RL from Next that was on the album. We had a song from Joe. Joe. We worked with everybody, everybody. on Tom that in the air. So we yeah. Carl Thomas was on the album, and and that was important for us to do that too because you know they gave us this big old budget and we was like, hey, let's share the love with the other brothers in the industry. I know they. They need to eat. Right. And just build this relationship and keep it rolling. And man, last night when we saw the, you know, it's been so a while like since a we saw those cats. It was yeah. like a it was like a reunion. That's like, what I wanted to ask you. So how was it like you are going back on stage with, you know, some of the, the guys that were on the charts with you and you had maybe you hadn't seen them in a man, while? How it, it how was, was like, that? It was like being a teenager again. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It, it it was just a great feeling. And it was like just a family reunion. It was like people it was like, oh my where have y'all been? been? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So, like we started, yeah. you know, never exchanging numbers. Like da da da, da we need to work. Da 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 da. Yeah. So I mean, I, I don't think it's gonna be any shortage of people trying to work with us on this next project. So, right. It was, just, it was just like getting back in the mix. Right, right. right. So, and knowing that y'all are still, still doing relevant. it. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. AM Cafe Morning Show ideals in the building. Rock with us this whole hour. So are you guys on social media and all that yeah, stuff because you sir. know sometimes these cats be reluctant no we on social media you, yeah, you man, can find can us find you, everywhere Great. Um, official ideal fan page uh, Instagram Twitter um, IG uh, Facebook we have a Whatever. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Same thing. So SoundCloud has new music SoundCloud or has older has, stuff that's unreleased? SoundCloud has, has older music to us right. that we did like over the years that you haven't seen us. So there's released. music on there that you that we didn't even release that you can just go and listen to just over the past 10, 12 years. Yeah. Right. That's so, like yeah. what, what is it? And what is that yeah. SoundCloud? Uh, what, what's that link? Official fan page. Ideal. Official. Official ideal fan page. Okay. Okay. Um, the tag is official ideal fan page. Let's smack man you on SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, he's smack like and <laughs> Twitter is everything is the same. Everything page. is the same thing. Official it's ideal all fan all page. Eric, man, if you were listening to the AM Caffeine Morning Show today and you kind of wondered where Ideal was, they didn't go anywhere. Just took a little hiatus. Um. As you can see, they sound. As you can hear, they sound incredible. Like guys, really. I don't. I don't gas. Thank you, sir. Appreciate, appreciate it. You guys sound dope. And I look, you know, forward to not just new music, but 
seeing you guys on stage. On stage That's Jay Dante said something I gotta see. Pelvic <laughs> <laughs> thrust, Come, ladies. Pelvic I, I gotta thrust. treat myself. Coming to a city near you. <laughs> yes, ladies. Let's <laughs> gather your friends. Guys, such a treat. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a treat. <laughs> oh my God! Bring it. Should they bring dollars or just pennies? <laughs> uh, dollars. Yo, two pennies, towels, <laughs> everything. Whatever. Blanket. Pantaloons. <laughs> bring it for pantaloons. Pack a lunch. <laughs> Pack a lunch, ladies. They go. They putting in work. They putting, work. <laughs> they putting in the work. They got that hard hat on them, boy. Uh, it's been a long gator- time, man. Yeah. And some Gatorade because you're gonna need your electrolytes. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, put your hair in your protective styles. No leave outs. <laughs> it's gonna be some sweating going on. AM Cafe Morning Show Ideal. Thanks a lot for coming with. Thank you know, you hanging having. with us. Thank you. Uh, Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank make you sure you guys, guys stay tuned to uh, all their social media stuff hear new music on SoundCloud and continue to support R&B music please yeah bring sure. R&B back please yeah. because please. it's out there it is yes. it, it's out there it hasn't gone anywhere. AM Cafe Morning so Ron C you gonna play a song before we get it no you, you, you shut me down okay <laughs> great hey right. right, Doc before we go let me give a shout out to uh Chilo and Tweet from Next. Yeah, we got much love for y'all, brother. Y'all, y'all have really helped us uh, reconstruct our comeback. So I just want to say from the bottom of our hearts to y'all, we got number love for y'all. Shout out Chilo and Tweet, man. They're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm Cafe Morning Show. Rock with us next weekend. Ideal, thanks so much for stopping Yo, through, man. I can't just say I'm Morning Show. Ron C, Smooth D. In your mouth! Brandy still... Brandy, just say in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. I am a lady. <laughs> Bam.